What's going on YouTube? This is Wayne with Wayne Fish World. I'm coming at you guys today with DIY lighting. Cheap, efficient, very efficient DIY lighting. Now, with all the adapters and fixtures and different types of bulbing out there, and the list goes on and on and on for aquarium lighting these days. But if you're an electrician, your options are limited. But today, I'm talking about PAR 38 bulbs. You can see I've got two 15 watt, 90 watt equivalent PAR 38 bulbs on a 55 gallon tank. And it, it creates some dead spots because PAR 38's beam spread is at 38 degrees. If this was a 120 degree beam spread, this would light up your world. If you want to have a aquarium that doesn't have those dead spots, you can combine those lights. Now, the spectrum of these bulbs are 5,000K. Where I got these from are Lowe's. Then I shortly found out about PAR 38 bulbs once I gave these bulbs a try a couple years back. And I did my research on them a long time ago, and I'm starting to get more interested in them. But PAR 38s, you can get them from companies such as Ecozotic. You can get them on Amazon, eBay, Lowe's, Home Depot. They come in different colors from red, blue, yellow, green, uh, 5,000 K, uh, warmer whites, as uh, a 27 Ks. And you guys can see I combined two of these bulbs, 15 watts each, that's 30 watts, and it's going full blast on my saltwater tank. If I had put four on there, it would totally illuminate the aquarium. Like I said, the beam spread, PAR 38, has a beam spread of 38 degrees. So if you can find a bulb that has a beam spread of 90, that would be ideal. They do make them, they're just kind of harder to find. But if you could find a beam spread of 90, that would be significant for your aquarium. There's a dude out there on YouTube who has a 55 gallon aquarium and he sets his aquarium up with GU bulbs. And he, long story short, he made a raceway of GU bulbs. I think there was like 20 fixtures up there. And this is the same concept except for the LEDs are a lot more efficient. In a second, <clears throat> I'm gonna compare and contrast the different levels of these uh, LED lights. What I'm lighting up right now is one Fluval 48 inch C light. You can see with the Fluval light, it gives you a good reef color. Not so much blues, more of a daytime blue. Um, but I'm accenting it right now with two spotlights. And you can't really tell they're on with the fluvals because the fluvals just give a really, really... I want to I wanna say, um, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, <clears throat> but I think their beam spread is 120 degrees. So you're not going to have much light penetrating through that because those fluvals are really powerful and they can grow a lot of corals and uh, even the higher demanding plants. Um, the fluvals are waterproof and that's what I use on my 55 gallon saltwater tank and my 125 gallon but I also accent my 125 with the PAR 38 bulbs and now I'm turning on both of the fluval uh, LEDs 48 watt fixtures and you can see it does illuminate the tank very well but if you don't want if you want to save energy those PAR 38s can definitely, definitely save you money. And if you have enough of them, they can, no doubt in my mind, outpower those fluval Cs. So what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be comparing the different bulb sizes. And I'm going to be starting with the 9.5 watt. This right here is going to be the 9.5 watt, 5000K, 500 lumens. It doesn't appear so bright, but let me tell you, in real life, that 10 gallon is lit up. I should have adjusted my camera. Um, in the next bulbs, you're not gonna see that much difference in light. You're gonna see a little, but not much. The next one is the 15 watt. This is gonna be 800 lumens. You can see it's a little brighter, but it doesn't appear that much brighter on camera. And in real life, it doesn't appear that much brighter either. Um, and this is the big one. This is, I believe, the 20 watt, 1,000 lumens, 5,000K. Doesn't appear that much brighter, but my basement is 40 feet long. And if I aim that light wall to wall, it's like sunshine on my wall. In real life, that bulb is a lot brighter. That thing could power SPSs, 
any type of plant on a 10 gallon aquarium no doubt in my mind now what i'm going to compare next these are the uh rbg floodlights that you see uh corvus and j flush tank use these are the 10 watt versions this is this is the smallest versions that are offered uh in the um led floodlights they come in 10 20 30 50 and i believe there's a expensive 100 100 watt one um they claim to be more efficient than halides and etc and i don't doubt that but i would really have to have a par tester because i can't see it with the eye what i'm about to show you this is the white right there now obviously it's mixed with some pink but what i'm going to do is i'm going to compare that to the 10 watt 9.5 watt led bulb and you guys can see that's a 10.5 i mean the, i'm sorry the 10 watt floodlight cannot compare to the 9.5 watt led part 38 bulb all right the last thing i'm gonna be showing you guys is using the part 38 bulbs actually the 15 watt equivalent 75 watt 800 lumens 5000k bulb on my 125 and i run a couple of these about three or four on each half of the tank <clears throat> so if i wanted to run a full 125 on these it'd be about eight of these bulbs and if, if i didn't have my fluval leds on there i could suspend them higher because the flu leds are obviously blocking the light because they're sitting on top of the tank but I could suspend them high in the air and it would give me good illumination. So I'm turning the moonlights on and that's a spotlight only with the fluval, I mean the uh, PAR 38 bulb. And it's doing a lot of light. Like I said, it has a light dispense of 38 degrees. So it's not going to cover that much. You're going to need multiple of them to get an equal coverage of light. But if you ran enough to cover your entire tank in an equal dispersion of light, you're your tank would be a sun. This thing would be shining like a sun. Um, turning the flubles back on, and I've got the uh, PAR 38 off now, and now it's back on. You can't tell with the flubles on, because like I said in the saltwater section, the flubles got 120 degree light dispersion, so it's kind of hard to tell. Hope you guys like this video. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and leave me any suggestions on uh, DIYs for LEDs. I'll see you guys next time.